Welcome to Pro Tips for Prezi, where we'll look at some lesser known but useful tips for getting the most out of Prezi to make this tool work for you. Let's look at some overall design tips for Prezi. When you create a new Prezi, you'll get the option to use an existing template or start a blank Prezi. If you're new to Prezi, you may want to start with an existing template so you've got something to hang your hat on as you're getting used to the tool. Prezi can have a steep learning curve, so be patient with yourself and take time to get used to the interface and how to drag and zoom your way around a Prezi presentation. For this example, though, I've created a blank Prezi and added a little bit of content to start with. Let's take a quick walkthrough of how you can get started adding content to your Prezi presentation. We'll start with frames. Frames are tricky because they're arguably not a type of content at all. Rather, they're organizers for other types of content like text, images, and videos. Frames are important to start with because, unlike other presentation tools, Prezi doesn't force you to cram all of your content into rectangular slides that get displayed in a linear fashion. Instead, Prezi's frames work a lot like slides, but also offer a lot more flexibility if you want to get creative. You can add a frame and then put other things into it, like text, images, or videos. And down the road, you can use your frames like slides when you're giving your, your presentation to an audience. Prezi has four types of frames. A circle frame, a bracket frame, a rectangle frame, and an invisible frame. You can find them all listed here. And in this sample presentation, you'll notice that I've already included a couple sample frames and have some content organized inside of each frame already. Once you've got a few frames set up, you're ready to add some text. To add text, first zoom into the frame where you want to include your text. Don't forget this step. First zoom and then add, not the other way around. When you're first getting used to Prezi, you'll notice that it's a champ at accommodating many different zoom levels. Prezi doesn't make any assumptions about size or scale of the content you add to it. It's really creative like that. That means, though, that when you add content, Prezi just tends to place things willy-nilly at whatever size and zoom level you happen to be on when you insert content. To keep yourself organized, it's best to always zoom into the frame where you want to add your text before adding your text. This will make sure that the text gets inserted at the scale you want it at and in the frame you want it in. Otherwise, you'll need to spend a lot of time resizing and moving your content around to keep it organized. So I'll say it again, first zoom and then add. Once you're zoomed in, all you need to do is click inside the frame somewhere where you want to add text and type away. Now, once you've written your text, you can change its style anytime using the editing options along the top of the text box. You can also drag your text to a different location. Great, so you've added some frames and text. Nice start. Now, what if you're working on your presentation, but you realize that your colors are off, or you want to tweak the overall look and feel of your presentation? Prezi gives you a lot of options for changing the overall look of your presentation. Click Customize, and you'll enter the Theme Customizer. Here, you can try on some of Prezi's preset themes. Or, if you don't like any of these, you can click into the Advanced Settings to change the different colors more granularly. Prezi lets you set different colors and styles for each different type of frame, and each level of text, and several other element styles. 